So I'm here to review the study that was published a few days ago in JAMA Surgery. Uh, in this study, they conducted a retrospective review of prospectively collected data within the aorta registry. Uh, in this, they sought to compare outcomes of patients that had an indication for aortic occlusion as part of the resuscitation that received either a resuscitative thoracotomy versus a zone one Raboa, uh, attempting to match the patients between the two groups. Uh, Raboa is particularly enticing because it is a potential alternative um, in that it doesn't have the inherent dangers to the operator that uh, emergently opening the chest does. Um, and in theory, it can be placed in other settings outside of a major trauma center. Uh, for example, potentially at a small emergency department, uh, the Raboa can be placed and then they can immediately transfer the patient to a large trauma center. Uh, placement of Raboa is much more feasible in an ER that has no rapid surgical backup um, compared to performing a thoracotomy. Uh, you know, good luck transferring a patient uh, with an open chest. Uh, additionally, if they survive, there is less morbidity associated with the Raboa than a clamshell chest aortic occlusion or opening up the chest uh, in, in some fashion. Uh, however, there's been limited data to date that demonstrates a mortality benefit uh, with the Raboa. Um, they performed multivariable modeling and propensity matching. Um, they found a statistically significant mortality benefit with Raboa compared to uh, thoracotomy at 78% death versus 92% death, and that was uh, statistically significant. Um, however, this does come with some caveats. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, uh, there's no level of data modeling that will truly give you the same balance as an RCT. Um, since with data modeling, you can only account for measured and measurable confounders. Um, for the low volume centers, there was nearly a tenfold higher proportion that received uh, thoracotomy, suggesting that there may be some selection bias. Um, there's also a significant longer time to initiate and time to place the Reboa compared to the thoracotomy uh, in terms of time to aortic occlusion. Um, which does introduce some survivor bias. Um, the authors do state that this study demonstrates scientific equipoise for a prospective randomized controlled trial. Uh, so it should still be viewed as limited uh, data at this point here. Uh, this is an important study um, because it would have to be conducted under ethic rules, uh, which are much different than a waiver of uh, consent study. Um, these are far different endeavors requiring way more resources under ethic. Uh, I'm not gonna delve into the differences right now, but it may be during a later post. Uh, hopefully such a study does happen. Um, unfortunately, I did not specifically state they have a trial planned at this time, uh, but they are looking at, uh, after looking at some of the names in this paper, I suspect they are actively seeking funding to conduct such a study. Um, hopefully that RCT does happen, and I certainly look forward to some of the results. Um, please feel free to respond in the comments section. I look forward to your feedback.